Hello, readers. Welcome back to Read Aloud with me, Miss Taylor. We are reading the rest of chapter 13. Chapter 13 is called Deciphering the Message. And in the last chapter, um, or the, the first part of this chapter, Lena was really excited to, um, well, she was excited to show Clary the instructions because she was feeling kind of discouraged after in the last chapter, she and Dune learned that the mayor has been stealing. Um, and so she was feeling discouraged. And then she went to show her friend um, Clary the instructions. And Clary got so excited about a word that was at the top of the page. And it was the word egress. Did you discover why that word was so interesting? The word egress, what does it mean? Show you, are you ready? Ah, oh, egress means exit. Instructions for the exit? Oh, let's find out. Do you know what this means, the word egress? No, said Lena. It means the way out. It means the exit. The title of this document is Instructions for egress, the way out of Ember. What? When Clary left, there was still over an hour before the lights went out. Lena raced across the city to Greengate Square. She glanced into the window of the small items shop where Dune's father was reaching for something on a shelf. And then she dashed up the stairs and knocked on the door of Dune's apartment. Right away, she heard quick steps and Dune opened the door. I have something exciting to tell you, Lena said breathlessly. Come in then. Lena went across the cluttered room to stand by a lamp. She pulled from her pocket a tiny piece of paper on which she had written egress. Look at this word, she said. It's from the title of the instructions. Someone's name? No, said Lena. It's meant to be egress. Oh, with two S's and the instructions, the S. One of the S's wasn't there. With two S's. I showed the instructions to Clary and she told me it means the way out. It means exit. <gasps> the way out, cried Dune. Yes, the way out, the exit, the instructions for the way out of Ember. So it is real, Dune said. It is, we have to figure out the rest or as much of the rest as possible. Can you come now? He darted into his room, emerged with his jacket, and they ran. Can you imagine how fast they're running? All right, said Lena. They were on the floor of the blue-green room at Mrs. Murdo's. Let's take the first line. She moved her finger along it slowly. Okay, so now, oops. Okay, so now they are looking here where it says Expriv Ipork. We know that ip orc is pipe works, she said. Exp could be expand or explore or expose. There's a big space between the exp and the rest, said Dune. There must be more words in there. But who knows what they are? Let's move on. Lena swept her straggly hair impatiently back from her face. Look at number two. Hmm, so now they're looking here. Lena put her fingers on stan. What could that be? Maybe piston, said Dune. That's part of a machine, like the generator. Or maybe it's astonish, or it could be, I bet it's just plain stone, if you add an E, said Lena. There's a lot of stone in the pipeworks. Dune had to admit that this was probably right. So then, he said, it would be stone marked with E. He frowned at the next bit. This must be river's edge, stone marked with E by the river's edge. They looked at each other in delight. E for egress, cried Lena. E for exit. They bent over the document again. There's not much left of this next line, said Dune. So now they're looking here. Hmm. Just this part, which, which must say down riverbank to edge something. Hmm. Edge of water would make sense. But right after edge, there's app. What would that be? Dune sat back on his heels and gazed up at the ceiling as if the answer might be there. Lena muttered, down river bank to edge. 
edge. She thought of Clary's guesses about that line. Maybe it's ledge. She said, down riverbank to ledge? There could be a ledge down near the water. Yes, that must be right. There's a stone marked with E and down the riverbank at that point, there's a ledge. I think we're getting it. Once again, they crouched over the page, their heads close together. Okay, Dune said, line four. So now they're looking here at line four. This is where it says door, Lena said. Somehow the door is by the edge. Does that make sense? And there's that small steel pan. What can that mean? What would a pan have to do with anything? But look, but look, Lena tapped the paper urgently. Here it says K-E, and here it says E. It's talking about a key. But what is it a door to, said Dune, sitting back. Remember, we thought about this before. A door in the bank of the river would lead under the pipeworks. Lena pondered this. Hmm, maybe it leads to a long tunnel that goes way out beyond Ember and then gradually up and up until it comes out at the other city. What other city? Dune glanced up at the drawings tacked to the walls of Lena's room. Oh, he said. Oh, you mean that city? That's Lena's kind of imaginary city that she likes to draw. Well, it could be, Dune shrugged. I suppose so, or it could be another city exactly like this one. That was a gloomy thought. Both of them felt their spirits sink a little at the idea, so they turned back to the task of deciphering, figuring it out. Next line, said Lena. But Dune sat back on his heels again. He stared into the air, half smiling. I have an idea, he said. If we do find the way out, we'll need to announce it to everyone. Wouldn't it be splendid to do it during the singing? Stand up there in front of the whole city and say, we found it. We found the exit of, to Ember, or out of Ember. <laughs> the exit out of Ember. It would be, Lena said, but that's only two days away. Yes, we have to hurry. They were bending again over the glued down fragments when Dune remembered that he should check the time. It was a quarter to nine. Hmm, what time would that be? Quarter to nine. A quarter means 15 minutes. Yeah, 8.45. He barely had time to get home. Come again tomorrow, said Lena. And while you're at it, look for the rock marked with E. That night, Dune had trouble sleeping. Hmm, I would too. You're so excited. You know when you're so excited you can't sleep? Like some special thing is coming up. He couldn't find a comfortable position on his bed. It seemed to be made up of nothing but lumps and wrinkles, and it squeaked and groaned every time he moved. He flailed around so much that the noise woke his father, who came to his room and asked, What is it, son? Nightmares? No, said Dune. I just can't sleep. Are you worrying? Frightened of anything? Dune wanted to say yes. Yes, father. I'm worried because the mayor of our city is taking for himself the things that people need. And I'm afraid because any day our lights could go out forever. And I'm worried and afraid a lot of the time, but I'm also excited because I think there is a way out and we might find it. And all those feelings are whirling around in my head, which makes it hard to sleep. Mm, so that's what he wanted to say. He's like, yeah, dad, I'm worried about everything. The mayor and the lights going out and oh, it's just swirling around in my head and I can't sleep. He could have told his father everything. His father would have plunged in with great enthusiasm. He would have helped them decipher the instructions and expose the mayor's thievery. He would even have come down into the pipeworks and helped search for the rock marked with E. But Dune wanted to keep these things to himself for now. Tomorrow, the guards would announce that an alert young boy had uncovered the mayor's crime, and his father, hearing the announcements along with the rest of Ember, would turn to the person next to him and say, that's my son they're talking about. My son. So in answer to his father's question, he simply said, no, father, I'm all right. So he's thinking all these things, but then he just tells his dad, no, I'm okay, dad. Have you ever done that? Just kind of keep quiet. I just want to think about things for a while. Me too. Well, then see if you can't lie still, said his father. Good night, son, he added and closed the door. Dune smoothed out his covers and pulled them up to his chin. He closed his eyes, but still he couldn't sleep. So he tried a method that had often worked for him before. He would choose a place he knew well, the school, for instance, and imagine himself walking through it, 
picturing it as he went in minute detail. Often his thoughts would wander, but he would always bring them back to the imaginary journey, and something about doing this would often make him sleepy. This night he decided to retrace his explorations of the pipeworks. He held his mind to the task for a long time, picturing with all the clarity he could muster everything he had seen in that underground realm. The long stairway, the tunnels, the door, the path along the river, the rocks along the path. He felt sleep drawing closer, a heaviness in his limbs. But just as he was about to give in to it, he saw in his mind's eye the wrinkled rocks that bordered the river at the west end of the pipeworks. So just as he's getting really sleepy, he's like, wait a second. Remember those wrinkly rocks at the, at the west end of the pipeworks? Mm, I wonder what he's figuring out. So he saw in his mind's eye the wrinkled rocks that bordered the river at the west end of the pipeworks, the rocks where strange ridges and creases had reminded him of writing. Those strange ridges and wrinkles and creases. His eyes flew open in the dark, his heart began to hammer, and he gave up on sleeping and lay in a state of terrible impatience for the rest of the night. <gasps> Ooh, Dune has discovered something. He has some kind of insight as to something to do with those wrinkled rocks that looked kind of like writing. I wonder what he's discovered. I have an idea, but I'm gonna keep it in my head in case you are trying to think of what, what has Dune discovered? Oh my goodness, it's getting so exciting. <gasps> the name of the next chapter. The Way Out. Oh my goodness. This is getting so exciting.